So I'm just gonna just pick up the slack and just see what it feels like. Morning folks, my name's Chris Komar. I'm here at Team O'Neill and we have a Ford Fiesta stuck in a ditch. It's kind of inevitable here at, um, when we're training. Um, if you've been here to Team O'Neill, you might have found yourself in this position. So we're just gonna talk a little bit about some of the things that we do to get these vehicles out safely, efficiently, and without too much damage. So if you find yourself in a ditch and you we're gonna recover this vehicle, um, I, I can't really go ahead because I've got a culvert here. It's kind of downhill, so I'm not gonna pull them straight back up the hill because I wanna get them out of the ditch as soon as possible. One of the things that people make a big mistake is they just think in straight lines and they'll either pull them straight down or pull them straight back and it never really comes out of the ditch. So I'm gonna grab them at a little bit of an angle so that I get the back end of the vehicle back up on the road first. Now as I do that, the back end of this front wheel drive car is very light, so it's going to slide nice and easily. So I'm going to pull them at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Once the back end starts moving, that'll start to pull the front end up onto the road. So I start the back end of the car moving first, and then the front end is going to follow, and most of the vehicle will be up on the road at that point. I'm going to rely on kinetic energy to pull them up on the road rather than traction. So I'm going to use a stretchable um, kinetic rope that has a certain amount of give in it, and what it does is it uses the energy of the weight of this vehicle to pull this vehicle out. It stretches and it, once it starts to pull that stretch back, it pulls this vehicle up onto the road. So we're going to use the weight of this vehicle to pull this one. I've got a bow shackle here. I'm going to hook up to the recovery point. I'll hook my recovery rope to the tow jaw here. Now we want to use approved recovery equipment and recovery points um, for the type of work we're doing. And another thing about using the, uh, the kinetic energy is it's a little nicer on the, the, the recovery points. It doesn't create so much of a, a strain. So we've got Drew in the car here. He's going to uh, follow what we need to do, whether I need some help with the engine in gear, might have him hold the brake, might have him pull the handbrake. And I certainly want him to, to lock the vehicle down when we finally get out so it doesn't roll away and cause another problem. So I'm going to hop in, give it a whirl. All right, you start the engine. Um, we're going to put it in neutral, leave it in neutral for now, and I'll just have it hold the brake until, you know, All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple of little hits. Just uh, just let go of the brake when I hit you and we'll see what happens. All right, you should be all the way out, I think. All right, how'd that feel? Super, all right. So when we get stuck in the ditch here at Team O'Neill, this is how we try to approach it. Whether we got deep snow banks or we're in the muddy ditches, um, Maybe we'll see you sometime here at Team O'Neill. Um, remember that there's a number of ways to skin a cat. In the off-road world, we might do things a little bit differently, um, but this is one way that we look at it. Thanks for watching. We'll maybe see you next time.
Hey, this is Chris Sear, CEO and partner at Team O'Neill. Thank you so much for visiting our channel. If you want to join our community, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about us or book a course, please visit teamoneal.com. We look forward to connecting with you. Thank <laughs> you.